Good morning, New York City. Four shots of espresso, two egg whites, two pieces of white bread. Fuck, dude. Heading to the gym. Another day of filming. Another day of chilling. I'm gonna shower real quick. And we'll see you guys at Solace. Ladies and gentlemen, a welcome back. Beautiful day, Manhattan, New York, Solace Gym, beautiful Peach Boy. It's your Peach King, Silent Mike, here with another voiceover. If you guys enjoy this type of video, a little bit of vlog, a little bit of lifting, a little bit of voiceover, all mixed into one beautiful, healthy kale smoothie, give this thing a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, awesome day training. We got my man, Omar Isaf, co-host of Mama's Voice Podcast. Uh, my boy, Ryan, homie in the background, Tom, came down to train, and the one and only, Kenny Santucci, Mr. Beautiful, the mayor of New York in the house. Um, I guess what we're going to chat about a little bit is uh, just, you know, the minimal amount of volume, the minimal amount of work that I try to get done while I'm traveling. Obviously, I would love for every session and every meal always uh, to be on par and perfect. But one, I'm busy. I have multiple goals I'm trying to chase down at once. And sometimes they do conflict in terms of how much time and effort and preparation I can give to each. Two, I'm freaking human. I make mistakes. And when I travel, I like to eat yummy food. My sleep patterns change. Um, obviously, my hydration, just my regular routine change. Uh, so I just do the best I can with what I got. And so uh, today we hit the big four. Maybe there's like a big six if I had to go into it. You know, some kind of hip hinge, some kind of squat, some type of horizontal press, a vertical press, horizontal pull, and vertical uh, pull, but because of our timeline, we had to get back and record another podcast. What we tried to do is uh, I had some heavy triples on the deadlift, three sets of three, the heaviest I'd been, and although they felt heavy going back and looking at this footage, they look pretty good. Uh, it's 455, and that is relatively light compared to uninjured me or 2016-17 me, but for the comeback, uh, it's still fairly heavy, so it feels heavy in my hands. The bar was a little slippery, but overall moves really well, and I'm pretty happy with my technique. Uh, moved on to some squats, which you guys shall see in a second. Uh, 405 for some reps. Again, felt really heavy on my back, but overall did pretty good. Moved well, and I'm uh, pretty happy with my form and the bar speed. Uh, Heavyish bench. Uh, three sets of three or so, or maybe one set of three at around 345, and then some drop-down sets. Uh, and then just some uh, pulls, some uh, chin-ups or pull-ups, just to get the back, to get a little evened out. Then we went back and finished podcasting, etc. cetera. Uh, Shout-out to iTunes. Shout-out to Apple. Mama's Boys Podcast has been on a roll two episodes a week, Tuesday and Friday, um, for about six weeks now. And we're having mega issues. We're having so many people tweet us, uh, friends, and even our, uh, Omar and Ryan themselves. Shout-out to Ryan for the big grinder. He hit two PRs this day, I believe, 445 and maybe 465. Uh, don't quote me, but both were PRs. One we didn't get on video, so he yelled at us, and then we yelled at him to do it over again, and he added 10 pounds and crushed it. Shout out to my guy. Um, but so we're having some issues with iTunes not uploading uh, or not notifying or making visible the ep episodes that we upload. So we're uploading Tuesday and Friday, but people aren't getting them. They're not getting notifications when they're subscribed, and it's just not showing up where the rest of their podcasts are. So we wrote them some letters, very kind letters, of course, uh, and they were very kind to take a look at it and fixed it. So as of today, just type in Mama's Boys. Should pop up, subscribe, and everything will be updated uh, smooth. Our audio's uh, fixed up. We had some audio issues for the first couple episodes. Um, and we heard you guys. We did hear you. We heard the voices of the people, and we tried to upgrade that a little bit. We got some professional sound people helping us out with EQ in post. Uh, so hopefully everything is clear. And my, oh my, can we just take a look at that? Ladies and gentlemen, an absolute masterpiece, a modern piece of classic art. That Peach Boy, look at that angle. That's my that's my masterpiece of filmography. Um, it was a really cool session. Kevin Oak ended up showing up uh, and smashing some clean impresses. Uh, the Russian 94 kilo Olympic um, weightlifter uh, who's been to the Olympics, not just Olympic weightlifting as a sport, but he's been there at the highest level. Vasily was there, and he was smashing on some deadlifts, uh, which you guys will see towards the end of this workout. Uh, some of you have asked. I cover it. In depth in a video coming up, I kind of did a sit down, talk about what's going on with my back, 
how I hope to progress forward without injuring it again. Um, but you guys have noticed it's a little bit narrower stance. Knees are tracking a little bit more forward. I'm trying to get into my quads. Uh, I'm trying to stay a little bit more upright. And overall, uh, again, you see my face. It looks like I'm on, on the struggle bus um, with these sets of 3 or 4 or 5. Uh, but the bar speed itself is feeling really good. Um, body weight is hanging around at 208 to 210. Talk to you all on tw uh, Instagram, a little bit on Twitter. Appreciate everybody with their response and engagement there. It's Solid Michael 2Ks. And what we came up with is I think we're going to go all in on the Shreds Life. We're going to go all freaking in on the Shreds Life, and then I'll figure out a competition maybe end of summer or even in the fall, depending on travel schedule. Because Mama's Boys Podcast is a priority, um, and I want to make the best content. I'm super excited about it again. I'm super excited to get back on the microphone. Uh, I love chatting with you guys here, and I love the fitness videos, and I love uh, entertaining and instructing here on YouTube uh, in the fitness realm. But for Mama's Boys, just to have a cool, cal uh, calm, raw conversation with Omar and whatever guests, whatever friends we want to have on and talk about anything and everything non-fitness related, uh, plus the platform of podcasting itself uh, is one of my favorites. So to be back there is really, really exciting for me. And we only want to bring the best. So we're only going to do them live recordings. Uh, Omar lives in Toronto. I live in Northern California. Makes it a little bit difficult, but we will meet up um, quite often and record those. So uh, obviously that takes priority over my perfect peak or my perfect training. Uh, and we'll see what happens with the training. You know, for now, it's about getting the, the minimum amount of stimulus I need to kind of keep the muscle I have, keep heading in the right direction. Um, and then when I do get time, you know, six, eight, 12 weeks all alone to train and kind of focus in, I'll do so to really push myself uh, onto lifetime PRs because that's what it's going to take. But for now, it's just the minimum amount. Um, and I think that's something that everyone needs to focus on is, uh, you know, with with training and diet, sometimes good enough is enough. You know, if I if I get enough training in to kind of keep my muscle, to keep feeling good, and slowly, even though the progress is slower, uh, it's still there. Rather than, of course, if I was at home, you know, maybe even I had a nine to five, all I did was train, sleep, and eat, my progress would probably be better. Uh, and that's not making excuses for myself. That's just kind of fact. But for me, that's not a priority in my life. Uh, creating content, uh, hanging out with people, networking, traveling, Getting outside of my comfort zone in business and in content is a little bit more important to me as of right now. So, man, that was a grinder. Ouchie. I don't know what happened. Normally, I'm not very good at grinding. We talked about it in that last overhead press uh, video, but I'm grinding is not what I'm good at. Uh, I don't know why. Never really have been. I'm a little bit uh, of a faster lifter. My bar speed is normally pretty good, uh, especially with... Um, back in the day, I guess I could deadlift. I could, I could grind a little bit. I could hold on to that thing. But as of late, the last couple of years, all I do is move fast. Here's a 315 back down set. Moves a little bit cleaner. Um, overall, pretty happy with the training day. Weight's feeling good. My body's feeling good, which is the most important thing. No aches and pains. You know, the minimal frequency, you know, two, two times a, a week about for each lift um, is, is, is enough for me uh, to keep the strength, to keep me mentally challenged and still pushing uh, I mean, I'm not mentally challenged, but my mind is being challenged, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, and here goes the one and only Vasily. This dude's an absolute monster. Um, I think he snatched around 400 plus pounds, don't quote me, uh, and obviously clean and jerk in the mid-500s. Absolute stud. I think he's retired from the sport now, so he's living in New York, I think mostly coaching weightlifting uh, and just exploring the U.S., uh, but if you can see how freaking fast he pulls up 780, um, it's absolutely amazing. To have that kind of explosive power uh, and speed in weightlifting transfer over to pure strength, I think, is something very rare. Um, it's just different. You know, the, the speed that weightlifting takes, yes, there is strength, of course, in the technique. But the raw uh, power out of this guy is absolutely insane. Appreciate you guys. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of the vlog. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Finally got a real training session, PR, tree for tree, uh, 455 deadlift. Oh my god, are you silent Mike? Tree for tree, dude, after dude. the vlog dude, after the vlog dude, oh, after the vlog dude, after the vlog, you can watch it on the internet later. Oh okay, wow. Dude, these guys, these guys. He's really good with his fans. These guys. Uh, tree for tree, 405, squat, actually felt pretty good, a little bit of bench, and then a bunch of strong dudes showed up. By Sally? Can I get a... Yeah, uh, correct. Absolutely. How would you say it? V A S I L Y. Vasily. Vasily, Vasily, uh, Russian, 94 kilo, 
Uh, weightlifter turned absolute fucking stud. Just pulled seven, 775 beltless, weighing 220. It. Crushed Easy. it. Easy, could have pulled 800. <laughs> yeah, so that was exciting. Oak was there just chilling, mostly did a little bit of clean uh, and jerk and a video for Omar. Mama's Voice podcast with Oak coming. We're gonna go find some food, see what the city's got for us. Shake Shack orders. What'd you get? What'd you get, nerd? Come on. Come on, tell the people. Is this fat shaming? What'd you, get? What'd you get, bro? This fat shame. What'd you get, dude? Get What'd you get, dude? Just let me eat my two double cheeseburgers in peace. <laughs> What'd you get, dude? Oh, I just got a milkshake. I'm trying to lean up. Oh, hey, man. Milkshake, oh, man, fries. Hey. Thanks, thanks, hey, thanks, dude, Jeff. Can we come in? Milkshake, fries. Oh, no, just a milkshake. Are you on the bulk or what? I'm on the gluten free diet. Sorry, just milkshake only. I'll show you. You got the grilled sandwich, brand new on the menu. Mm -hmm. Fried sandwich, old on the menu. And a diet coke. Cause aspartame, bitch. Another Mama's Boys down. One of my favorite, maybe. Omar and I, what we're trying to do is broaden their minds, let you in on our banter, let you uh, know different things that we're interested in besides fitness. So it is a non-fitness podcast. Again, if you want to check out the Mama's Boys, iTunes, Stitcher, whatever. We talk a little bit about conspiracy theories. We're not going to go in depth right now because you can listen to the episode. But Omar, if there's one conspiracy theory that you may believe more than another, what would it be? The reptilian overlords rule our world. I would say... When you everyone, say that, all I think about is uh, the doctor from Spider-Man. Oh, when I say that? Yeah. Well, I'm thinking of a Nick Kroll episode in particular. I was going to say Mike genuinely got unsettled by something I, I told him. Not a yeah. conspiracy theory, but a naturally occurring or maybe not naturally occurring phenomena uh, that we don't know what it's about. I was going to say that uh, the podcast, I think it's great for both of us because we can explore things outside of fitness. People say, oh, bro, like vlog, do this, do that. Man, that's the place to go to hear more of our insights. I know you, even on this channel, I know you vlog, but you try and keep it mainly yeah, fitness. It's on the gym too. day, yeah. Bro, it, it's like peanut butter and jelly. They go together. That's us. Yeah. So what, uh, one, I guess might as well tell them what the fuck freaked me out. And two, tell them what conspiracy you believe in. Yeah, it's like these horns uh, that are heard around the world. Like here in New York, Stephen Colbert was filming an episode of his show, and he just like recorded and threw it up on his Instagram. Around the world, there's been loud noises that kind of sound like horns. They don't know if it has to do with something occurring, you know, uh, underground, maybe in the air, something to do with outer space. I'm not saying aliens. I'm not saying it was aliens. But, but they, just, someone just, might just, be. Just something weird going on that we can't explain. When we can't explain it, if scientists can't easily explain something, that's a little bit unsettling. So that's something, uh, probably the conspiracy theory that is most easy to believe would be JFK. The fact that it wasn't just one gunman, the lone gunman theory. Yeah, because and then but then the other thing too with that theory is people say uh, that the shot was so impossible, but people have emulated it. Uh, I guess the bullet ricochets the weird part. That's why people think more than one dude, but the yeah. shot itself isn't that difficult. And they said like, oh, it was a miracle shot or oh, something. I like that. So this is uh, something a uh, uh, random aside. I didn't shoot. <laughs> <before, huh? laughs> Bless you. That's ah! horn sound. Is that actually the program that I was in was all geared towards the math and science. And uh, one of the guys, the guy Van Bemmel, who was the uh, physics teacher that was like in hard where he worked for basically the Canadian, I honestly am blanking on the Canadian uh, NASA, but like Mark Arnaud, this guy that flew up, he's like high up when it comes to space, when it comes to physics, all those sorts of things. He was someone that explained the physics of how he felt it was impossible the JFK, JFK the, yeah. the, the bullets and so forth. Like he went yeah, in yeah, on yeah. it. So I'm sure he figured it like out. Like PD partial differential equations yeah. and stuff like Shit that. Shit that we don't like, understand, but we can yeah. trust him. Yeah. That's the basis of the podcast. We're not diving into shit, but we're diving into shit that experts actually dive into because we could trust them. Uh, I think we got one more podcast. We're gonna go get food. It's been a wonderful day. Hopefully you enjoyed the mini vlog plus the gym of footage. Probably nothing else, because we got the Super Bowl tomorrow. And then I'm going back home. I'll Mike. see you guys in Sacramento. Dude, just Untamed up. strength. Boys here. Look, Brian, turn around. Look at that oh shirt. my god. Look at that shirt. Why Look did I that get shirt. that, that hoodie? Shirt. I'm what? getting your shirt. That hoodie. Oh, you want this hoodie? Yeah. yeah. Done. Done. I know the guy. Brian. Guy. We're out. Oh. Ooh. Brian. Oh. Yeah, I need the sh I need the hoodie. I think the shirt's XL. cool. XL. Yeah. Or I got you, bro. Yeah, either one. That's a beautiful right. hoodie. Oh, thank you. Rascalapparel.com. Rascalapparel.com. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Sir. I'll see you guys in Sacramento. Give this tang a thumbs up, bruv. I'll see you on Twitch. And we'll see you on iTunes, Mama's Voice. Later. Uh, uh, do, uh...